What's up guys? So straight to the point, you see the title. So it's almost been a full month since Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather met face to face at the Miami Heat game on January 27th this year. Now, a lot of time has passed for this specific fight. Since then, a lot of reports have come in, a lot of people speculate, and a lot of rumors have been going around, mainly saying that the fight is done, that it's done, 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 and it's just waiting for an announcement. And as fans, we have waited a, in a couple occasions in tuning into other sports just to see if our fight will be announced. More specifically, for the Super Bowl. There were a lot of reports saying that the fight was going to be announced at the Super Bowl, saying it was done, and that there that was that was the place they were going to announce it because a lot of people watch the Super Bowl here in America, and it would get a lot of publicity if it would be announced there, which makes sense. But it was not announced. And then the next big event that came was the NBA All-Star Game. And a lot of people tuned in to watch it just to see if the fight was going to be announced, myself included. And there were a lot of reports saying that it was going to be announced there and it had already been finalized. Floyd Mayweather himself was at the NBA All-Star Game and they even gave him an interview asking him about the fight and stuff and he said that um that the, there's all rumors and speculation that neither him or Manny have signed the have signed yet and to me that spoke out a little bit because he said that he they haven't signed yet so to me that kind of seems like there is a contract and it was just that they didn't sign it at that moment and they're still like probably tweaking a few things in the in the negotiations because this is a big fight it has to have a lot of negotiations a lot of people think it's just easy like sign the contract it's it but no it's, it's not like that but um he denied anything basically everything there and the fight was not announced so now we're two months in almost three months into the year and may 2nd is approaching faster and faster that gives them less time to to um, promote the fight less time to train but i think both of them already have started training but haven't really dis displayed anything or kept it low-key now, I truly believe the fight is done and that they have signed it. It's just a matter of waiting for an announcement. A lot of people reported that Floyd Mayweather was going to announce it within this this week or weekend. I think he could announce it probably this week, this upcoming um, week, because the next big, I'm not going to say event, but the next thing that's happening is Floyd Mayweather's birthday. His birthday is the 24th which falls under Tuesday in this upcoming week. So if you look at the order from um, things that people said the fight was going to be announced, it was the Super Bowl right after the Miami Heat game, and it didn't happen. Then it was the NBA All-Star game, and it didn't happen. The only big thing for him to announce it would be on his birthday, if anything. And not that it would matter, like it wouldn't get any publicity like that, but I guess it could, it could make sense if he announces it on, on his birthday, which is the 24th on Tuesday for this upcoming week from this video now there are a lot of reports that both of them have signed it and a lot they've been like more so I think on Manny's side just like teasing the, the fans with um him posting pictures on Instagram with um captions like spend time with my family before we start our formal training for the fight to God be all glory so the fight there is going to be a fight but it's just we as fans, we want it to be Mayweather and Pacquiao, but we don't know who. And at this point, they're just teasing us. I feel he posted another picture. Of him saying, "Um, more than anything, it that is very important is when you serve the Lord and spend time with the family before the serious training for the upcoming fight. Fight who? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. He he. I'm excited for this. So he's they're posting a lot of things on social media to get the fans like more pulled in as if we weren't like already like like um addicted to this fight already and wanted to know everything about it and just waiting for it to be announced because I feel like it is going to happen but it's just a matter of, of them announcing it at this point because I'm pretty sure both fighters have a plan B if this fight falls through because Bob Barham has been asked this in um in um interviews and he says is there a plan B and he goes yeah there's always been a plan B and I, I believe it because both of them being the top two, the top guys at their sport, 
anyone is going to say yes to fight them immediately. It doesn't matter. It could be a two-week notice, one-week notice. If they say, oh, you want to fight Manny? Yeah, let's do it. You want to fight Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, let's do it. They're going to say yeah. There's no way they're going to say no. So for them having backups is not hard. I mean, just look at um the Canelo um, Cotto situation. When that fight fell through, basically Kirkland was like immediate was the immediately um replacement for Cotto, and that didn't take long at all. So for man for a fight for a fighter the level of Manny and Floyd, they're easily gonna get backups, but they're not gonna be pleasing to the fans because we don't want anything besides this fight. Manny posted a picture two days from this video, two days ago from this video, and he said, "Um, off to." work now but after a few days back to serious training for my upcoming M dot 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 fight thank you lord so he said M fight obviously that's going to lead to speculation that is Mayweather but see you see what, I'm, what I mean they're doing this on purpose they're just teasing us like M could be for anything it could be for Marky, um, for Mikey Garcia it could be for Pauli Malignaggi it could be for Marcos Maidana, it could be for anything. Like it, I think the fight is done, and Manny's team can announce it. It's is um solely directed to Floyd, and that he has to be the one that puts it out. I mean that's the way Floyd is. Floyd likes to call his own shots. He's his own boss. We heard it all before. And Floyd doesn't like to be rushed. He likes to be very like he does. He moves when he wants to, and that's it. And if you don't like it, well, oh well. And and it is a well because at this point we have to wait on what Floyd wants in his move. Floyd, I I heard um a rumor that um both of them signed it at this point, and it's just Floyd waiting for a time to announce it. If he announces it, it's got it has to be sooner or later because, uh, like I said, there's less and less time for them to promote and train a lot of people speculate that there's there's going to be basically little to no promotion considering the build up this fight has for basically the past what six years or so now so they're not going to really do promotion which will piss me piss me off because this is the, the biggest fight probably ever in the like the history of the sport bigger than Ali Frazier bigger than Duran Leonard bigger than Tyson Holyfield bigger than Mayweather De La Hoya this would be huge and as a fan I want to get the whole thing I want to get the Seroffs I want to get the the city tours I want to get the face offs I want to have all access 24 7 I want both like I want it all like I waited six seven years for this fight like I want to get I want to get all of it like it's not just like oh here's a fight no like you you owe me you all, all of us as fans, more than just this, especially making us wait, making us go through this, all this bullshit, just so, just so that you guys can be happy. No. At the end of the day, we pay them our money so they could do their thing, and they're not, and it's not fair to us to just lash out the money just because we've been anticipating it so bad. But that's just how I feel about it. Like I want them to promote it properly, not just like, oh, here's a fight, we're gonna. And there's not going to be nothing really. Now, some rumors and reports that I heard from considering this fight is that um, the pay per view is going to be more than normally. Normally, it's like around sixty bucks or so, depending on whether you get like the standard definition or the high definition. I heard it's going to cost like around a hundred bucks for standard, and then like like around a hundred and ten for HD or so, which is a lot. But it's understandable. It's, it's the biggest fight ever. They're trying to cash out on this. And I heard that tickets for this fight could go from a thousand all the way to ten thousand, which really doesn't bother me. I'm not going to be going out to Vegas, which is probably the location that it's going to be at. I'm not going to go to Vegas and spend a couple thousand to watch this fight. One, because I don't have the money. Two, it's probably going to be sold out within like minutes of it being announced. You know how many celebrities they're going to be there. And then forget that, like their families and stuff. So yeah, this place, this is gonna be sold out within like minutes. I don't think it's gonna last more than thirty minutes. Since probably not, not even fifteen, since like the fight will be announced. That's how big this fight is. So I think the fight's gonna be announced before the end of this month. It doesn't give them that much time. It wouldn't be good for them to announce it after, like in March, because that really is no time for them to do anything. 
it needs to be announced now, and I think it will be. Um, I seen some reports saying that Freddie Roach is um, about to start training camp with Manny. Manny has clearly been training for whatever fight he's he's supposed to be taking on, and he says that he's taking it serious. I heard a, um, a video that Freddie Roach was in. I forgot, I forgot the the name of the channel, where um they asked him if he was gonna go to China for to basically be in the corner of Xiao Ming because he's having a title fight, I believe for the WBO. I don't exactly remember the belt, but he says he might not even go over to China because it could get in the way of him preparing Manny for this Mayweather fight, and he's highly considering not going, which is crazy. To, to me but um he says that he also said that since the fight was first basically going to be done back in the day he said that the game plan has changed for Floyd for him to for Floyd basically he says that it, both fighters have changed drastically and that get him giving the same plan wouldn't work it he says he, he has to come up or he's coming up with a different game plan since since um back then it's completely different from the original and he says that he's been watching Floyd on Mayweather's um, videos and fights studying him to conduct a good game plan so at, at this point I think we honestly just have to wait it could be announced I'm kinda like I'm, I'm kinda thinking it could be announced on Floyd's birthday that'll be like the only other quote unquote event that it could be announced on otherwise it's just gonna be a random day and we just gotta wait it, wait it. so as more information comes out, I'll let you guys know and keep you guys up to date and stuff. So, yeah, subscribe, like, and comment. Tell me what you guys think. Alright, peace.